Hi, this is James Collins, manager of Endress Motorrad. Uh, we're here today looking at the 2011 K1600 GTL. Thought we'd put together a little video to show our customers some features and functions on this bike. It's a lovely day here in Toronto, mid 20s. We're going to do some uh, riding down here by Lake Ontario, and hopefully, you guys enjoy the video. I'm going to show you the cockpit view here on the 1600. Um, it's very clean as you can see. BMW did a great job of minimizing the amount of buttons here on the side. In 2010 they introduced uh, what's called the multi-controller. Uh, it first came out on the 2010 R1200 RT. Um, it was very limited for that bike because it didn't have this great display that we see here on the 1600. But uh, the significance of it is there's many menu features that this bike has and they can all be controlled uh, easily while the rider is riding. So, in addition to the multi-controller, we have uh, the cruise control. Cruise control is engaged by clicking over the switch. Forward is accelerate, backwards is decelerate. Uh, they're both deactivated by pressing either the brake or the clutch. We have also uh, the LED fog lights right here. We have the four-way uh, flashers. We have your menu scan button to go through the menus on the bike. Uh, there is a fair bit of information, like I mentioned. We also have the windshield adjustment, goes a fair bit up and down. One nice feature with the windshield on this bike is every time you shut the key off, the windshield shuts down and covers over the GPS. And turn signals uh, left and right and a cancel, single cancel in between. Of course our horn. Over here on the right signals, uh, on the right stock we have the lock button. This will lock all the bags and compartments on the bike as well as the mode select. Now, the mode select is on every single one of the 1600s. Um, in Canada, 1600 GTLs come standard with the traction control, so it's also enabling the traction control. On the GTs, it is an option. But as you press the mode button, you will get a different throttle response, uh, rain, also road, and dynamic. And now, rain is your lowest mode, and as you step it up gradually, you increase the torque that the bike is gonna give you on demand. Um, when you want to release the windshield on, or sorry, when you want to release the GPS on this bike, you press this button here in the center, the windshield will move up and out of the way, and you can pull it and remove it for safety. One of the nice innovations BMW's made on this bike is an air uh, deflection system. Now what it does is, uh, as the rider is riding, he can pull this forward and it will di direct a clean airflow at the rider. Uh, on a hot day, you're going to get a nice slipstream of air without any buffeting. So the 1600 GTL also has Sirius satellite radio uh, in addition to iPod integration. Uh, nice little pocket here in the side, open it up and uh, we've got the BMW USB and audio cable. Uh, there's a perfect pocket in here as well for an iPod or an iPhone to, uh, to rest in there. Every BMW K1600 GTL comes equipped with alarm and central locking system. It is quite nice, uh, you have the one remote, you have your lock and your unlock button. When you arm it the first step, you will hear all the bags and compartments on the bike lock. To arm the alarm system, you press the arm button one more time and you will hear an acknowledgement sound. Now to disengage the alarm, you can either stick the key in the bike or you can press the unarm button as well and you'll hear another acknowledgement letting you know that it's worked. Our 2011 K1600 demo we've retrofitted with an LED uh, third brake light. It is very bright and it is very easy to uh, equip on the bike. Nice uh, feature with the top case is that it has shocks and you have electricity that is run through the, uh, the back power outlet. It gives you a heated backrest, the third brake light and an internal light in here as well. So the BMW K1600 is the first motorcycle that BMW's produced with its famous inline six cylinder engine. Uh, one of the benefits of this engine is, is it is extremely smooth. Um, this bike has an immense amount of torque as well. Uh, pretty much just over idle, this bike is making 100 foot-pounds of torque, which is uh, you know, comparable to most uh, large uh, displacement motorcycles peak torque. Uh, this bike makes 130 foot-pounds of torque at peak. So we're going to take a ride. Um, we have some beautiful roads around here in Pickering, and uh, I hope you enjoy it.
as I ride the bike, I can really notice the uh, torque that this bike makes uh, pretty much everywhere in the power band. Uh, easily, you can uh, twist the throttle and take off without having to change gears. Now, I know personally, uh, this bike can take off from six gear without much of a fuss. In addition to uh, the multi-controller, BMW's actually invented a couple new things for this motorcycle. Uh, one is the adaptive headlight. This is the first adaptive headlight featured on a motorcycle. And what it does is, as the bike is leaning into a corner, the lean angle sensors will uh, give the headlights a reading, and it will, uh, in fact, aim the headlight farther off into the, to the road, rather than dipping as uh, a headlight usually does. This bike also features uh, BMW's electronic suspension adjustment too, uh, which features uh, dampening and preload adjustments available through the electronic uh, button. Um, the nice feature with uh, ESA2 is it adapts uh, and makes its changes very quickly. One of the nice things on this bike is the wind protection that it offers. Uh, as you're riding down, uh, you can adjust the electronic windshield and uh, basically get no buffeting at all. Uh, they do a very good job at isolating the wind for the passenger as well. Even though the passenger sits up quite high, they get a very good view of the road. As you're riding this bike, you can really see BMW's intention with it. Uh, there's a, a lot of bikes in the luxury touring market. Um, the uh, mainstay is the Honda Goldwing. Now what BMW did to differentiate this bike from the Goldwing is play to BMW's strengths. And that, that comes into the handling and the, uh, the power that this bike makes. It is really uh, more of a sport touring. I mean, it is very comfortable, don't get confused, but it is more of a touring bike meant for the sport enthusiast who would like to further his distances you'd like to travel. The K1600 GTL in Canada has an MSRP of $29,225. Uh, for Canada, BMW has optioned it uh, fully, so it comes with the electronic suspension adjustment, traction control, adaptive headlights, Sirius satellite radio, iPod in uh, integration, and pretty much everything else. Well, welcome back. We're back at the dealership here, Andrus Motorrad. Uh, we'd like to thank you for watching the video. Please feel free to uh, stop in at the showroom. We're at 100 Achilles Road in Ajax at the Salem 401 exit. Or, of course, watch out for another video on www.bmwbikes.ca.